Tyka, get out of my shot! Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 moments that made us love Taika Waititi. There's three important things for a ladies' night. One... Ladies. ...is good company. <laughs> for this list, we'll be looking at the most notable ways in which this filmmaker has made us feel plenty of joy. What's your favorite Taika Waititi film or TV show? Let us know below. Number 10. Creating Reservation Dogs Alongside Sterling Harjo, YTT co-created the comedy series Reservation Dogs, which debuted in 2021. The show centers on a group of indigenous adolescents as they prepare to move on from their Oklahoma home to greener pastures in California. This place killed him. That's why we're saving our money so we can leave this dump before it kills us too. It features plenty of funny and heartfelt moments as the teens navigate the world around them. Of course, it's already received many positive reviews from critics and picked up numerous awards and nominations. What are you here for? Got into a fight. Busted my nose. I got some good ones in, though. Did you tell your mom? No, I didn't. But what makes this project even more special is that it's mostly made with the work of an indigenous cast and crew. Thus, YTT and the whole team are crucially helping a group that's historically been ignored feel heard and seen. I think the most interesting and unique thing about this is that it's the first time that anyone's done this, um, and it only took just over 600 years. Number 9. Ladies' Night During the promotional tour for the release of 2017's Thor Ragnarok, YTT met up with Collider for their Ladies' Night series with Alicia Gaynor and Perry Nemiroff. And it was magical. Within the first seconds of the video, he's playing with fire, getting us amped up. Everyone here is putting their hands over their eyes. It's not going to go far. <laughs> Once the wine is mentioned, YTT's sassy side slurps out of him. He confirms that it's not a proper rosé, but rather white Zinfandel. And as if his expression when looking at the glass doesn't say it all, he hilariously confirms it's not a good beverage at all. It's disgusting. Yeah, all right, here we go. <laughs> That's something. I don't think I would drink anything. I'm not going to touch that. <laughs> I tasted it. He then blows us away with his artistry, drawing Thor-inspired tattoos on Gaynor and Nemiroff's arms. YTT's clearly having a great time, and we're right there with him. This guy. Good job, you guys! We did it! Ladies' yeah! night! Number 8. Smashing Star Wars If you're a Marvel star, you'll probably make the jump to another Disney-owned franchise at some point. And for YTT, that was Star Wars with The Mandalorian, where he lent his voice to IG-11, an assassin droid. Sadly, I must ask for your fob. I've already issued the writ of seizure. The bounty is mine. Unless I am mistaken, you are, as of yet, empty-handed. This is true. Complete with a Kiwi accent and robotic tone, he regularly stole the scene whenever his droid popped up. In fact, his voiceover work was so exceptional that it earned him a Primetime Emmy nomination. No, we need you. There's nothing to be sad about. I've never been alive. I'm not sad. Yes, you are. I'm a nurse droid. I've analyzed your voice. On top of this, he also flawlessly directed the show's first season finale. Then, in 2020, it was announced that the New Zealand icon would be co-writing and directing a new movie in the Star Wars franchise. Needless to say, we're obsessed with this. Are you going to ruin Star Wars? <laughs> yeah, yeah, for all you fans out there, I'm not, no, um, no, I'm not, no, I'm not. You were so close. Imagine if I was just like, I was like, yeah, I'm going to give you the Jar Jar Binks story that everyone's been uh, asking for. <laughs> Number 7. His Relationship with Rita Ora in 2021, it was confirmed that YTT and singer Rita Ora were dating, and we couldn't have been more delighted. And they definitely did not disappoint when they started attending events together. At the Met Gala that year, Jimmy Fallon was standing all by his lonesome. So Ora and YTT, the good eggs they are, surrounded the talk show host for some pictures. At the Oscars after party in 2022, Ora arrived with a stunning Miss Sohee gown. To show the true extent of the piece, YTT stepped in to straighten out the detailed train for the press to photograph. Those are just some examples of their adorable dynamic. And now, they're reportedly engaged. These two are clearly couple goals. Number 6. 
his lip sync skills. He's a writer, director, actor, producer, and apparently a lip syncing pro too. When he appeared on That's My Jam in 2022, YTT got to karaoke with a slight caveat, lip syncing to a group of inebriated folks that sang Don't Stop Me Now by Queen. Don't stop me cause I'm having a good time, having a good time. Though we can see a hint of pain in his eyes before he starts, he quickly goes all in and digs deep to showcase his comedic chops. Each time the singer changes, his character does too. I'm gonna go, 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 there's no stopping me, I'm burning through the sky, yeah. He's aggressive, sassy, emotional, theatrical, and more in a pretty short amount of time. Honestly, the range is beyond impressive. Don't stop me now, I'm having such a good time, yeah, I'm having a ball. Maybe he should pull in Eddie Murphy and put out his own Norbit-esque film. Number 5. His Friendship with Jemaine Clement Who would have thought the Victoria University of Wellington could give us a long-lasting friendship between two New Zealand stars? I was impressed. Like, another you. impressive thing that Jemaine's done. Thank you. But that's what happened with YTT and Clement. The two then-up-and-comers even won the Billy T Award for Comedy together in 1999. And luckily for us, they've worked together regularly over the years, with no signs of stopping anytime soon. Oh, I think I'm falling in love with you from based on these arts. Really up to number five. Sure, there are individual projects, such as Clement's involvement with Flight of the Concords and YTT's work in the MCU, sometimes take them in different directions. But I'm actually organizing another revolution. I don't know if you'd be interested in something like that. Do you reckon you'd be interested? But their friendship has stood the test of time. And they never seem too busy to take funny shots at each other on social media for us all to appreciate. Number 4. Working on Our Flag Means Death We don't know where YTT finds the time. On top of all the projects we've already mentioned that he's working on, he's also involved with the smash hit comedy series Our Flag Means Death. When I've said that in the last few months, like, I'm doing a pirate show, people go, okay. The story involves Steed Bonnet, played by the amazing Reese Darby, who chooses piracy with a dysfunctional crew above life as a Barbadian aristocrat in the 1700s. An executive producer on the series and the pilot's director, YTT also perfectly plays the well-known pirate Blackbeard, sporting stunning bushy facial hair. A genuine pirate, I presume. You've heard of me? Oh yeah, I've heard of you. I've heard all about you. The show has been heavily praised for its LGBTQIA representation, with one highlight being the relationship between Bonnet and Blackbeard. If YTT's involved, you know it's gonna be good. And this is proof of that. <laughs> Number 3. Co-birthing What We Do in the Shadows Today, What We Do in the Shadows is seen as one of the best TV shows around. It was relentless. They would call me Nando the Relentless because I just never relent. The vampire mockumentary comedy that came into our lives in 2019 has developed a passionate and vocal cult following. Yet its humble origins go all the way back to 2005 with the short film What We Do in the Shadows, Interviews with Some Vampires. Well, I was bitten by another vampire. That's the way you become a vampire. It was put together by Clement and YTT, who also starred in it. By 2014, the two had teamed up to make a brilliant What We Do in the Shadows film. Unfortunate things about not having a reflection is that you don't know exactly what you look like. Mm -hmm. Then Clement headed the TV show project, with YTT serving as one of the executive producers and directors. The duo even wore their fangs once more on the small screen. Number 2. Leading Thor when Marvel released an iconic mockumentary video in 2016 called Team Thor, we lost our minds. It showed what the Asgardian Thunder was up to while Captain America's Civil War was happening, hanging out in Australia with his roommate Daryl. Anyway, so uh, I needed some me time and I came to Australia and that's when I moved in with Daryl. Hello. And uh, here we are. It also spawned two other shorts. 
and YTT was responsible for all of that perfection. Thankfully, he was also brought on to direct a mid credit scene in Doctor Strange, and more importantly, 2017's Thor Ragnarok. I suppose I'll need my brother back. Oh yeah, right. I have been falling for 30 minutes! It was immensely successful and reignited massive interest in the character, proving once more that YTT is a force to be reckoned with. He's also Cork. So you can imagine how excited we were when he followed that with 2022's Love and Thunder. Look at those! They are wonderful! Yes, they are. They also scream quite a lot. What can we say? Everything he touches turns to gold. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. His 2010 TEDx talk. Watching him explain his creative process never gets old. Now I'd like to just um, break the ice, maybe start off with a joke. Um, this joke, I'm just going to put it out there, just involves me telling you that I've just flown in um, to Doha and as a result my arms are tired. His New Zealand air safety video. This YTT directed clip definitely inspires us to take safety in the clouds extra seriously. Welcome to Middle Earth, my friend. I'm here to guide you on your journey, so cease your rebel rousing and listen very carefully. Dancing in Boy. He iconically channels his inner Michael Jackson with a New Zealand influence number. Agree to disagree with Chris Evans. He's ready to battle it out with Captain America over the big topics. <laughs> what kind of things have you stolen? Me. <laughs> Hearts. <laughs> Hearts, minds, souls, Ideas, you souls. Yeah. Ideas. Moments. <laughs> Time. Taking Vanity Fair's lie detector test. YTT takes on the machine with Reese Darby and wins our hearts in the process. You are telling the truth. Oh, thank God. When it comes to my friends, I always tell the truth. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Being a history maker and foremost voice for New Zealand In 2019, YTT directed, wrote, and acted in one of the most talked about films of the year, Jojo Rabbit. Hi, Adolf. Want to tell me about that rabbit incident? What was all that about? They wanted me to kill it. I'm sorry. I couldn't. Don't worry about it. I couldn't care less. All about a boy in World War II Germany who has YTT's portrayal of Hitler as an imaginary friend, the flick resulted in the artist making history. He became the first indigenous person to earn an Oscar nomination for Best Adapted Screenplay and the first person of Maori heritage to win in the category. YTT is really proud of his heritage, and his work beautifully and consistently reflects that. He was notably involved in Disney's Moana, writing the initial script before leaving the project to focus on other pursuits. So what I believe you were trying to say is thank you. Thank you? You're welcome. We will never tire of seeing him represent. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.